Alright, so welcome to a running and tagging game I like to play called Ultimate Tail Tag. So for this, I try to divide the kids into four even or as even as possible teams, okay? And get them to go to four corners of the basketball court or the area. So they all, I get them to wear sashes in the side either in their pockets or like fitted into the side of their pants obviously you don't want them putting it in their underwear or at the front or the back of their pants as well for obvious reasons that i won't go into um and as well if you've got those sort of rip tags as well they can be good now if you're using normal sashes in the side in their pockets i make the rule that it has to go up to their knee so some of them tuck it in really tight or some of them try to tie it together to their pants or do all sorts of tricks that I've tried to see. Um, and I just blanket statement, show them how to do it. And if they don't want to play like that, I just get them to sit out until they want to join in and play it properly. Um, Cause this game's really a lot of fun when you actually play it properly. So I have jail. And I usually make this in the middle as the center circle, or you can make it with cones if you like. So the way the game works is they have to work together with their color. They can't steal from their color. So they can try and, if they're on the green team over here, they can try and steal from red or blue or yellow, and they're working together as a team. If one of their teammates runs out um, and loses their tag, whoever gets the tag has to throw it on the ground okay and just leave it on the ground then the person that lost it goes into the jail but if another green player is able to run around pick it up and then bring it back to this person they put on the tag inside the jail and then when they've got their tag secure then they can run out and start playing the game again okay now this game can keep going on as long as there's at least one person left that still has their sash as soon as you notice a team that runs out of sashes, I usually end the game. Okay, so they're not all stuck in jail doing nothing. Um, and then you could have, or you could have a time limit on it. And you could just say, you know, the least amount of people um, a team has in jail, they could be the winners. Okay. Um, so that's a way that I play ultimate tail tag. And I find it works really well because people can get back into the game and it's sort of basically never ending as long as the whole team doesn't completely run out of players. Um, and it makes the game fun. Another way I play as well without the jail, so I get rid of the jail. And if you take a sash, you just keep it in your hand. But if you've lost a sash, you keep playing and try to steal other people's sashes that are in their side. You can't steal people's sashes that are in their hands that they've stolen from other people. Okay, but you can steal the one in the side and you can make it whichever team has the most amount of tags at the end is the winner. Um, and again, you can have a time limit for this as well. It's a good like two or three minute game. You don't want it going on too long. Um, the longer it goes on, the more people try and cheat and things like that. And if it's just a short, sharp game, um, I've, I've found those two different versions of this can work really well. When I've played the normal tail tag where people lose their tags and they're out, um, I find it's not as enjoyable and not as much fun. So you can have a go at Ultimate Tail Tag um, as a really good running and tagging game and another good one for teamwork. Hope you enjoy it. All right, one thing I forgot to add for this is, so if students are running around in their group, they can't hold on to their sash or like hold their hip um, on the side to block other students taking their sash or knock away people's hands. They can only dodge. If I see a student like blatantly holding on, I might warn them once. Um, and then if they do it again, I might play the whistle and stop the game and ask them to drop their sash. Um, so if it's this student here from the green team and then they have to go in the jail Okay, someone else can save them um, if there's still people in the game. If they're really hesitant to abide by the rules with you, um, I usually just stop the game and say, okay, your, your green team's going to be one player less short. You're going to sit out of this game if you don't go to jail. Um, 
and that usually helps out because the green team obviously don't want to be one player down, um, which makes the game really hard for them because all the other teams will have an extra player for them uh, for them in the game. So I find that really works, and that's a super important rule that I emphasise at the start of the game, that you cannot hold your sash or block someone or hit someone's arm away. You can only dodge and try to grab other people's sashes, um, and it also makes it a more enjoyable game to play as well. So I just thought I'd add that one in for you. Enjoy.